Now, okay, now, so, so what informed your decision to write on this? Is it from personal experience? Is it from challenges that you have faced? Is it from what you have witnessed? Is it, or is it because of a concern, you know, that you see around you? Uh, maybe everything together, everything together. In my course of um, writing, I have, because I, I deal directly with human beings, human people, um, human beings, human relation, and um, we, I discuss one on one. Yes. And people are able to open up to me because they know that it's not something that I'm going to publish their faces in the paper. I'm not going to publish your name in the paper. If you give me your story, it's not your, I'm not going to use your identity. I'm just going to use your, your experience. Yes, your experience as a case study or you know, to teach other people, to let people know that this is what is happening. So people are more relaxed when they know that it's a faceless thing. So they're more relaxed, and in my interaction with them, I find out that many people, it's not because they want to, they just want to enjoy sex, as, sex it, were. as it were, but circumstances weren't there being involved. Growing up too, we had our own challenges back in the 80s, you know, um, early 90s. If you are in that age bracket where you were in your teens, then you would know or understand why I'm talking about this. Um, the exposure was not there. There were no books, no serious books to teach us these things. That there are basic rules, you know, guidelines to this. It was always don't do this, don't do that. The children are inquisitive. You don't just tell the child don't, don't do, do it. it. When even the child sometimes sees you doing it. So sees you doing it and sees other children doing it. So why, why, why should I be different? Why is my own different? Don't mind. Or, and you also meet people that don't mind your mommy. This thing, that, that's where we should go. And you know, we, we, we went through these stages. And now, the stages that we went through, is even when you consider the challenges we faced then, it's... It's rather juvenile or primary to what is going <laughs> to on. What now. is going on now? To what is going on and now is uh, on a very higher High scale, level. Yes. Yeah. It's, you know, it's um, rather worrisome, um, and not much is mm. being done to educate to properly to educate, educate yes. young people about sexual exposure, sexual activity. When you, when, and when I talk about sexual activity, you know, it's not uh, intercourse. It's not... It's not just it's that not alone. It's not just that alone. You know, because, um, there are so many things involved in sex education, sexuality education. And uh, if we narrow it down to just sex, 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 the act of um, copulation. copulation, we're going to be missing the point mm. totally. In other fact, it, just to push your point, I just have a, a, a take here from uh, the World Health Organization, Organization that says sexual health is a state of physical, emotional, mental, and social well being that is re related to sexuality. Yes. So it's not just merely, you know, the, the act of. Uh, so in it this won't... experience that you have narrated with, to us uh, in this book, how much of that do you have documented here? Um, we have various various aspects of sexuality. It is it, a an eight chapter book. Okay. Um, the first chapter talks about why young people must have sex education or sexuality education. Okay. Why they must have it. The 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 merits mm, of, of being knowing. yes of knowing. You know it's. Um, um, ignorance is no longer an excuse mm. for anything these days. Because if, if you are ignorant of your environment, if you are ignorant of the things you are you know, getting into, you are going to make the wrong choices. And those choices can make or mar you for, for the rest of your life. Mm. So they need to know. So it's not just about um, copulating or the sexual act itself. It's if you don't even know how your body operates, what makes it work, how to use your body to, um, to your own benefit, you're not going to be healthy. You're not going to be mentally or you know, physically emotionally, or emotionally stable to make the right decisions for your life. So 
that That's chapter to, one. That yes, chapter one has to do with why young people or people generally must be sexually aware, okay. must be sexually educated, okay. with all the intricacies that goes into it. Yeah. So um, then we go on to the second chapter, which talks about uh, the challenges of adolescence, of puberty, or things that young people would expect, a child would expect while growing up. Um, that you, when you get to a certain ch stage, Age. yes, your body begins to, to change. change, and then it takes on the form of a male adult or a female adult. The features that you know um, you would have, or why you should have those things, and when you don't have them, what to do? Those things that you should um, look out for. I I, I will tell you uh, an experience of somebody, a 27-year-old girl, oh. called me about well, two years ago, and she narrated her problem. She was not menstruating at 27. Excuse and me. I, and I was, I, my first question was, what were your parents looking at? Are they aware 27? of what, yes, at 27? She, she says she lives somewhere in Lekki area, but apparently, yeah, I, I felt at the end of the day, I was convinced that it was just human wickedness, mm -hmm. you know, because um, if a child is brought into you, your, under your care from the village, she said she's related to the people that she, mm -hmm. you know, Stay and she away. came to them at a very young mm -hmm. age, helped to raise your own children, children, you know, and then she's learning to um, seamstress or something. And... Um, She's not menstruating at 27, and you are not aware of what, it. you know, that is rather worrisome. So that is also one of, you know, the issues that we that need to talk we, about, we, yes. We, we, people need to be more sensitive. Don't say because this girl is not your child or this one. She's helpful to you in some ways. At least she keeps the house clean. And, 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 and your children pays tidy. Yeah, yeah, pays attention to what's going on around you while you go out to look for money and neglect your own children mm. that you're supposed to be taking care of. So why not make this girl's life, you know, comfortable and yeah. so that she too can be re so how did you productive? Resolve that? How did you resolve that issue? Yes. If finally, unfortunately, we were not able to do much because I referred her back to, um, to the general hospital and I said she should give me a feedback on what she never, did. never did because she, she was afraid of the people she was leaving, her. yes, that because I told her that um, for me to be able to help her, she has to come out of the closet because mm. mm. I have to meet people. And then and she was afraid of the people she was living with in Lekki. That, 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 really, that really actually touches on another issue. Many of us actually were in denial, not even um, the unfortunate victim in this matter, you know, like you have just narrated to us. Some parents actually are in, um, also in denial about, you know, uh, sexual status of their children. Ah, we have that a lot, a lot, especially um, parents of the male child. Your male child, we, we all know that men are predators, you know, and when, by, when nature. by nature, you know. No, they are not. <laughs> That's why you can sit here. Okay. <laughs> you know, and uh, they go in search of whatever the, 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 the female companion and when you know that many people, many parents, don't pay attention to what their male children are, are doing, doing because they feel that they cannot come up pregnant for the simple reason that the male cannot bring problems, they cannot come up pregnant. Oh, so that's a new that's, one on that's, the, that's, that's, that's the thinking. Yes, that's the thinking. Not knowing that your male child's sexual activity can bring more Be serious problem. problems than just um, impregnating a girl. People feel, okay, he's, a, he's the problem of the, of the, of the, uh, girl. Of the girl and, and her, and her parents. parents. Yes. Mm, I don't care. Well, if she keeps coming here, if that means her parents are not teaching her. If, <laughs> you know, and it goes beyond just um, teaching the, the, the girl child. Girl child. You all, the boy child also has to be taught to respect the female body, to respect his own body and to take his own life seriously because anything and I, I always this is something i always tell um 
young guys or young men that I made, I said, Gee, don't, don't trust anybody. You cannot trust anybody. Sex is something that's shrouded in secrecy. Nobody is going to come out and say, I'm going to go and have sex with someone. For instance? Yeah. Nobody is going to own up to, call, to, to tell you that I just had sex. Maybe your time. No, 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 no. no. Seriously, even your time. now, even now, well, not when is uh, if it's um, marital sex. Yes, it's assumed if people you, you can smile, you can, and everybody mm. knows mm. that mm. you know. Mm. But if you're dating a girl, and your the girl is dating another guy, she's not going to tell you that she's having sex with that guy. So it's left to you as an individual to protect yourself at all times.